Okay, so our next field trip is going to be the junkyard. But before we go, I just wanted to go over some things real quick. When I called this my redundant warehouse, I was thinking after reviewing some of my videos, just because I, I'm not even going to mock them. It's warehouse. It's important to me. It's very clear that it's important to me. Because without this warehouse, I couldn't save stuff. Because you buy something extra, you could put it here. And then when you get the next car in, you can yank it out that you're restoring and then use it. So it's not losing anything. So it's an important device. For me, it is. So if somebody else wants to think it's redundant, that's their problem. They'll get over it. If it ruins their game, then it's ruining their game. That's too bad. Let's see what I get. I don't get any of those kind of work. These must be for cars I don't get. That's okay, but I'm getting paid for it. A thousand dollars worth. So I ain't lost nothing. Alright, so that's the deal. It's a warehouse. It's an important warehouse. And I believe in that. That's still sitting here. Now, the other thing I want to go real quick. Because I, I did read this. Level 34 means exactly this. So understand, I can do complicated work. I could do complicated engine work. And in some cases, body work is available to me and other kinds of engine work. The engine work is not going to ask me to have uh, to go up there and change out belts. We're talking about engine work. Engine power has failed. Chances are there's going to be rods and pistons that have to take it apart. So because I'm at level 34, I will be handling more workloads like that besides getting calls. More calls to select from. Because if it's a call that I want to do, well, then I'll do the call. If it's something I don't want to do, well, I'll just decline it. it. It's no big deal. See, it's I'm not getting penalized for it. It's not that kind of game. It's dynamic free play. So, like I've always said, it's about how you run your shop. Use your workbench, do your thing, paint your car, restore the car, don't paint it, sell it. <laughs> it's, it's all about what you want. So this level has absolutely nothing to do with here. Because I'm 34 and this is a level 6. See? The levels mean that this is one level version for 50% faster part examination. This upgrades that ability to be 100% faster. This is the level 3 part upgrades to be 150% faster. That's all these levels mean. When you reach all these levels and you reach this part, you reach a part to expand your garage. So it has absolutely nothing to do with this. And I just wanted to make sure that was clear. Because some places I'm hearing, well, when do I open up one of these level things? Because I'm over here at at level 12 and there's something wrong the game is glitching because I can't get it open well did you have enough upgrade costs are you have available skills to be able to even open that up cuz I know I'm here these don't open I don't know why I probably got to do some other stuff that I haven't done yet maybe even uh, finish a few of these calls I don't know I'm not really worried about that now. When you got a million dollars, who cares? <laughs> okay. And we are going to the uh, junkyard. And this is where we're going. Now, when you're in the junkyard, going through stuff, it's not about visiting Optimus Prime. It's really about salvaging through junk cars. 
and then people are complaining about this because they're like going, well, there's nothing here. Well, you, you have to look. My derby car's body parts that I didn't have with the car, and I bought it in the junkyard. My derby car's body parts all come from here. So when I started finding the, the body parts, I, that's what I put on the car. Because I didn't want to buy new parts because the body looked like garbage. And there was no way I was doing that. So I took parts off of other cars that I have up in my parking garage that are for me. And came here, looked for all my body parts and bumper. If you're somebody who wants to restore a car via by pounding stuff off the workbench. But want to get the feel by buying from here or going through the junkyard, concept's the same. Go through it. If there's something in there that you don't want, don't get it. You don't have to get it because it's there. See what I'm saying? If you're somebody that has decided that, well, I got a junk, I, I got a barnyard car, but I don't want to spend big money on it. I want to spend as little possible, get the idea, feel, salvaging around. So basically you're somebody who's probably going to come up to something like this and look here for the best condition part and buy only that and not touch nothing else. Well, you could do that here. That is that is the whole point of having this. And you never know. It could be in a junk pile and you may go, oh, I need that or I don't need that. Or the condition isn't such a point where, uh, eh, no, you'll pass. Well, that's fine. You can keep going until you find anything that's in normal wear and tear condition, which would be yellow. But when you're here, you can also look and see what's available. Because sometimes there are junk cars here. This reminds me of a mullet because the engine's in the rear. Or maybe this World War II Willie's Jeep would be an interesting item for you. Or, maybe you want this car. Supercharged. You know what, that looks like the regular V8. That would be the um, overhead quad cam V8. I could tell because you see the hole in the block, the water pump goes in there. I want to test that. I'm buying this car. Not like I lose money. Woo Put that in the garage for later. So that's all you do. Is you would come here. If there's something that you want, get it. If there's nothing in here that you're looking at that you're interested in, because somebody may go, oh, you know what? I want this rim, but it's a 13. When you go to a junkyard for real, there's going to be a time you're going to come in there and they ain't going to have nothing you want. That ain't no different than here. And then there are going to be times you'll go here while there's nothing available, and then it'll be like this. There'll be no outline. But you went last time, but there was. Now there isn't. That's because the parts in here recycle after a while. So th what you'll do is you'll get a whole new set of parts that are in there. To give you that effect that there are no parts would probably be the reason why it's not available. Because I've searched for parts in this car, so I know it is. But maybe this time around it isn't. Maybe the next time I come here, it will be. But unless I'm built, for me, um, for how I role play, see, here you go. Uh, Rena Palinda front left door. Okay. What is this car? Elinte. Okay, that's, that's not going to be it. But if it was and you got that car, there's your door. Or if you have the car from a barnyard sale that you'd want to spend no money in and the door is bad, well then uh, there's your door still, at least for the left front. So it's it's all about having to come back and whatnot. 
because it's open, dynamic, free play. Get that through your head. Get a grasp on it. If somebody says on the forums, well, that's not how you do things. That is exactly how you do things. I'm telling you how they do things. I've been playing this game for a long time. Between the, uh, 2015, and this is no different. Same thing. Everything about the concept makes sense. To, it, it only doesn't make sense to people that think this is Call of Duty. That's like getting to the next level. There is no next level. Those le those levels for those tools open up as you get upgrade points for upgrading your shop. They have absolutely nothing to do with me being 34. What has to do with me about 34 is I get seven calls and not all of them are break jobs. You may be somebody who only wants to work on suspension. So maybe to you, the car would not be idea. Uh, Maybe to you, you may not want to do anything but suspension jobs. Well then, you could turn around and decline any of those cars and do your thing. And not have to worry about it. Know what I'm saying? Because most of the money I made is barnyard and junkyard cars. And I've gone like that because I'm just interested in moving selling cars. And sometimes, and most of the cars that I like in collection, this is where I find them. The Spectra was the only one I had to go to the auction. And I can't get it any other way. So that's why I went to the auction for it. Which is going to be another place we're going to go. Well, I think I covered everything that you could possibly do in the junkyard. So I hope you get the idea. You're having fun with the game. Don't make it a burden. It's not that kind of a game.